Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna review the stage 12 liters um, back from Evoc and we're gonna have a few on it and how I gonna use it. Um, here's the back. First of all I'm gonna show you the front compartment where I keep my tools like um, yeah and some energy gels as you see like tire levers, multi-tool, things like that you need easy access to to repair your kit um, you have in here a big compartment there for some other things like a passport or your mobile phone but I normally don't put my mobile phone there since it breaks um, a bit too easily when you crash um, on the side you have two pockets you can put in there some gels or whatever you maybe a fist big um, back side here we have a well ventilated system I had problems with it when it was more than 30 degrees or so the bracelets up top, um, I have pretty narrow shoulders, so it works fine for me. And if you are like a bit bulkier, I think it will work for you as well pretty fine. Um, top compartment, I have a sunglass in there and a beanie. Um, you can put in your mobile phone in here. Um, uh, you have two more pockets there for keys or whatever. But you have a special key department in the inside, as we will see in a second, I think. Um, then we have a zip bag here for the hydration pack. Um, I think I'm gonna show you that later. Um, you have two zippers for the main cage. I have like one jacket in there um, and two boxes. One of them is my gimbal, second of them is normally my GoPro. I have um, a pump in there and some inner tubes. That's pretty much it. Some money and as I said the key stuff before. So you have like plenty of space in there for your daily rides if they're not too long um, I think that will work well in the back you have like one more zipper and uh, it's designated for the hydration bladder um, I like the setup course then if ever the hydration bladder breaks or so you have it in a different compartment and it will not ruin your ride or your gear um, and if you don't have a hydration bladder you can put some other stuff in it but that thing is kind of small and narrow I would suggest um, the next thing I will show you is like the oh, let me get that yeah okay um, the, the helm carrying thing here um, I don't use it, of course I only, I very rarely ride with full face helmets, um, normally only in bike parks. So I use it actually to transport my knee pads, so I can't put in my helmet, I would have to take it off, but it fits pretty well. Um, and so if, you, if you're if you riding with full face or um, uh, half top helmet, you can carry both on it. One thing I really kind of dislike is like the rain cover it has a small zip back down there um, and I don't understand why on a red bag they make it black of course sometimes when it rains or mostly when it rains it's cloudy and so and I think black is harder to see even there, there that there is an evoc sign on it um, but I think if they would make it yellow or red as a signature uh, signal color it would be just better for visibility things um, yeah so that's pretty much the only disadvantage I have here it's a bit fiddly to get in here but yeah how often do you need radon cover and once you use it you normally leave it out and let it dry out so it's not like too big of a problem um, overall I really like that bad bag even for that price and yeah and that's pretty much it for the video today. Um, it's a well-organized bag for a price range between 120 and 150 euros or dollars. I think it's pretty equally funny. Um, but yeah, that's me, Bike Hustler. Um, press the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon.